Hey everyone, Dr. Mike here. We're talking about the nervous system today, the command center of your body. This incredible network controls everything from your thoughts and movements to your senses and bodily functions. But what happens when things go wrong? In this video, we're diving deep into 20 famous nervous system diseases. We'll break down the complexities of these conditions, exploring their causes, symptoms, and available treatments. From Alzheimer's to Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis to epilepsy, we'll cover a wide range of neurological disorders. We'll also touch on some holistic approaches to managing these conditions because remember, a healthy lifestyle plays a crucial role in overall well-being. So, whether you're a medical enthusiast or simply curious about the human body, stick around. Let's expand our understanding of the nervous system and the diseases that can affect it. Let's start with a condition that affects millions worldwide, Alzheimer's disease. This progressive brain disorder slowly destroys memory and thinking skills, ultimately impairing the ability to carry out even simple tasks. One of the hallmarks of Alzheimer's is the buildup of amyloid plaques between nerve cells in the brain. These plaques disrupt communication between neurons, leading to cell death and brain shrinkage. While the exact cause of Alzheimer's is still unknown, genetics, lifestyle and environmental factors are thought to play a role. The most common symptom of Alzheimer's is memory loss, particularly for getting recently learned information. As the disease progresses, individuals may experience disorientation, mood swings, difficulty with language, and behavioral changes. Currently, there is no cure for Alzheimer's disease. However, medications are available to help manage symptoms and slow down its progression. Additionally, lifestyle changes like regular exercise, a healthy diet, and cognitive stimulation can play a significant role in managing the disease. Now, let's move on to Parkinson's disease, another common neurodegenerative disorder. This condition primarily affects movement, causing tremors, stiffness, and slowness of movement. Parkinson's disease arises from the loss of dopamine-producing neurons in a part of the brain called the substantia nigra. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that helps regulate movement and coordination. As these neurons die off, the brain receives fewer signals, leading to the characteristic motor symptoms. While the exact cause of Parkinson's is unknown, a combination of genetic and environmental factors is thought to be involved. Symptoms typically appear gradually and worsen over time. Tremors, often starting in the hands, are a common early sign. Treatment for Parkinson's disease focuses on managing symptoms and improving quality of life. Medications can help increase dopamine levels in the brain, while physical therapy can improve balance, coordination, and flexibility. In some cases, deep brain stimulation, a surgical procedure, may also be an option. Let's discuss multiple sclerosis, or MS. This is where your immune system mistakenly targets the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath insulates nerve fibers, helping signals travel smoothly. When damaged, nerve signals get disrupted. Imagine sending a text with a spotty connection. Symptoms vary widely from fatigue to vision problems. Treatments can help manage MS and slow its progression. Immunotherapy calms the immune response. A healthy lifestyle also improves quality of life. Let's dive into epilepsy, a condition affecting millions. Our brains buzz with electrical activity. It's how neurons communicate. In epilepsy, abnormal surges cause seizures. Seizures vary widely. Some have convulsions, others have subtle symptoms. Triggers include stress and flashing lights. Managing epilepsy means controlling seizures. Medications calm brain activity. Work with a neurologist for the best treatment. Diet changes can help. The ketogenic diet shows promise. Lifestyle modifications are crucial. Sleep and stress management help prevent seizures. Let's talk about amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, often called Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS targets motor neurons, disrupting signals from the brain to muscles. This leads to muscle weakness, twitching, and difficulty walking, speaking, and breathing. Eventually, ALS causes respiratory failure. There's no cure, but treatments can manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Medications and physical therapy help maintain muscle strength and flexibility. Assistive devices support independence. With support, people with ALS can live fulfilling lives.
Alright guys we're moving on to Huntington's disease, a condition that hits close to home for a lot of people. This one's genetic, passed down through families, and it directly affects the brain's nerve cells. One of the toughest things about Huntington's is that it impacts movement, mood, and even thinking ability. Imagine your body moving involuntarily, experiencing mood swings, or having trouble concentrating. That's the reality for many people with this disease. Now the tricky part is that symptoms usually show up later in life, often after people have already started families. And since it's genetic, there's a 50-50 chance that a child of someone with Huntington's will inherit the gene. While there's no cure for Huntington's yet, there are medications and therapies to help manage the symptoms and improve quality of life. It's a tough diagnosis, but research is ongoing, and we're always learning more about how to support those affected. Next up is Guillain-Barre syndrome, and this one's a bit different. It's an autoimmune disorder, meaning the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own peripheral nerves. Picture this, you get a viral or bacterial infection, which isn't that uncommon, right? But then, weeks later you start feeling muscle weakness, tingling, and numbness, and it spreads rapidly. That's the hallmark of Guillain-Barre. The scary part is that this weakness can progress to the point of paralysis, even affecting the muscles we use to breathe. Thankfully, with prompt treatment, most people can recover from Guillain-Barre. Treatment usually involves things like plasmapheresis, which is basically a blood cleaning process, or intravenous immunoglobulin therapy to help calm down that overactive immune system. The important thing is to catch it early and get those treatments going. Now let's talk about myasthenia gravis, another condition that disrupts the nervous system's communication. Imagine your nerves trying to send signals to your muscles, but the message gets lost along the way. That's essentially what happens in myasthenia gravis. The technical term is that it's an autoimmune disorder that disrupts the communication between nerves and muscles. This leads to muscle weakness and fatigue, especially in the eyes, face, and those involved in swallowing and speaking. One of the characteristic symptoms is muscle weakness that worsens with activity and improves with rest. So imagine trying to go about your day when simple tasks like smiling, chewing, or even holding your head up become increasingly difficult. Thankfully, treatments for myasthenia gravis are available, and focus on improving muscle strength and managing those pesky autoimmune responses. Medications, therapies, and even lifestyle changes can make a significant difference in managing this condition. All right, moving on to number nine, we've got peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral nerves are the network that connects your brain and spinal cord to the rest of your body. Peripheral neuropathy happens when these nerves get damaged. Causes include diabetes, injuries, infections, and vitamin deficiencies. Symptoms, numbness, tingling, burning, and pain. Holistic treatments like diet, exercise, acupuncture, and massage can help. Work with your body, not against it. Bell's palsy involves sudden facial weakness. Imagine waking up and one side of your face feels different. Your smile droops, your eye might not blink properly. Don't panic, it's not a stroke. Bell's palsy targets the facial nerve, often due to a viral infection. Most people recover completely, often without intervention. Corticosteroids can help speed up recovery. Protect the affected eye with drops and an eye patch. Gentle massage and facial exercises can help. You've got this. Now let's talk about meningitis. This one's serious, guys. We're talking about inflammation of the meninges, which are the protective membranes surrounding your brain and spinal cord. Think of them like the brain's personal security detail. When they get inflamed, it's a big deal. Meningitis is usually caused by a viral or bacterial infection, and in rare cases, it can even be fungal. We're talking high fever, stiff neck, headache, sensitivity to light, sometimes even a rash. If you suspect meningitis, head straight to the ER, no question. This is not something to mess around with. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial. If it's bacterial meningitis, we're talking about intravenous antibiotics and fast. Viral meningitis usually clears up on its own, but supportive care like rest, fluids, and over-the-counter pain relievers can help. Prevention is key, people. Vaccinations can protect against some common causes of meningitis, so talk to your doctor about staying up to date. And remember, good hygiene goes a long way. Wash your hands frequently, especially during cold and flu season.
Let's discuss encephalitis, the inflammation of the brain itself. It can be caused by viral infections like herpes simplex or West Nile virus. Symptoms include confusion, fever, seizures, and personality changes. Diagnosis often involves a spinal tap and MRI. Early treatment with antivirals is crucial. Stay up to date on vaccinations to reduce risk. A stroke occurs when the blood supply to part of your brain is interrupted, preventing brain tissue from getting oxygen and nutrients. Within minutes, brain cells begin to die. This can result in long-term brain damage, disability, and even death. There are two main types of stroke ischemic and hemorrhagic. An ischemic stroke is the most common type. It occurs when a blood clot blocks an artery supplying blood to the brain. A hemorrhagic stroke occurs when a weakened blood vessel ruptures and bleeds into the brain. Strokes are a leading cause of long-term disability. Knowing the signs and symptoms of a stroke is crucial. Remember the acronym FAST face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call 911. Other symptoms include sudden numbness or weakness, confusion, trouble speaking, seeing, walking, dizziness, loss of balance, and severe headache. The good news is that stroke is treatable. The faster you get treatment, the better your chances of recovery. Treatment depends on the type of stroke and the area of the brain affected. It may include medications, surgery, or rehabilitation. All right, let's talk about migraines. Now, if you've ever had one, you know it's not just your average headache. Migraines are a neurological condition that can cause intense throbbing pain, usually on one side of the head. But it's more than just head pain. We're talking nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light and sound, the works. What causes these debilitating headaches? Well, the exact cause is still a bit of a mystery, but we know that changes in brain activity, genetics, and environmental factors all play a role. Some common triggers include stress, lack of sleep, certain foods, and even changes in weather. Now, while there's no one-size-fits-all cure for migraines, there are ways to manage them. Treatment often involves a combination of lifestyle changes like identifying and avoiding triggers and medications. Medications can range from over-the-counter pain relievers to prescription drugs specifically designed to prevent or stop migraine attacks. If you suffer from migraines, it's essential to work with your doctor to find a treatment plan that works for you. Trigeminal neuralgia, also known as tic douloureux, is a chronic pain condition affecting the trigeminal nerve. This nerve is responsible for facial sensation. It has three branches that carry signals to your face, teeth, and gums. Irritation can cause intense electric shock-like pain, this pain can be triggered by the lightest touch. Episodes last from seconds to minutes, disrupting daily life. Often the cause is unknown, but it can be due to a blood vessel pressing on the nerve. More research is needed to understand this complex condition. The spinal cord is the body's information highway, carrying signals between the brain and the rest of the body. A sudden traumatic blow can bruise, partially tear, or completely sever it. This is a spinal cord injury, profoundly impacting life. Higher injuries result in more extensive loss of function. Neck injuries can cause quadriplegia, while lower injuries may lead to paraplegia. The Asia Impairment Scale classifies injury severity. Treatment includes surgery, medication, and rehabilitation. Rehabilitation involves physical and occupational therapy and counseling. Cerebral palsy affects muscle movement and coordination due to brain damage during development. Symptoms vary widely, from mild stiffness to significant challenges with walking and talking. Treatments include physical, occupational, and speech therapy, plus medications. Early intervention and a comprehensive approach are key. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mike. In this chapter, we'll explore Tourette syndrome, a neurological disorder characterized by repetitive involuntary movements or vocalizations called tics. These tics can range from simple, like eye blinking or throat clearing, to more complex movements or vocalizations. Imagine feeling an irresistible urge to shout a word or make a sound you don't intend to. That's what individuals with Tourette's experience. These tics are often worse during times of stress, excitement or fatigue, and tend to lessen when the person is calm or focused on an activity. 
While the exact cause of Tourette syndrome is still being researched, it's believed to be linked to genetics and differences in brain chemistry, particularly involving the neurotransmitter dopamine. There's no cure for Tourette's, but various treatments can help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Treatment often involves a combination of therapies, including behavioral therapies like habit reversal training, which helps individuals become more aware of their tics and learn to manage them. Medications like antipsychotics or antidepressants might also be prescribed to help control tics or address co-occurring conditions like ADHD or OCD. Ever felt an uncontrollable urge to move your legs when trying to relax or sleep? That could be restless leg syndrome or RLS. It can mess with your sleep and quality of life. Imagine being cozy in bed, but then it hits you, an itchy sensation in your legs. The urge to move becomes overwhelming. We're not talking about an occasional muscle twitch here. The exact causes of RLS are still a mystery. There seems to be a genetic component for some. Others might develop it due to iron deficiency, pregnancy, or certain medical conditions. Treatment often starts with lifestyle changes like regular exercise and good sleep hygiene. Avoiding caffeine and alcohol, especially before bed, can help. Medications that impact dopamine levels can also be helpful. Talk to your doctor to figure out the best course of action for you. Narcolepsy is a chronic sleep disorder causing sudden, uncontrollable sleepiness. Imagine nodding off during a conversation or while driving. It can also involve cataplexy, a sudden loss of muscle control triggered by emotions. Research links it to a deficiency of hypocretin affecting wakefulness. While there's no cure, medication and lifestyle changes can manage symptoms. Wow, we've covered a lot of ground in this series on the nervous system. From Alzheimer's to restless leg syndrome, we've explored the complexities of the brain and its intricate network of nerves. Remember, knowledge is the first step to taking control of your health. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more informative and engaging health content. Your nervous system is your body's control center, folks. It's responsible for everything from your thoughts and emotions to your movements and senses. So take care of it. Eat a balanced diet, exercise regularly, get enough sleep, and manage stress. Until next time, stay healthy and keep those brains buzzing.